Hello, we are on day 34 of our reading plan, reading through the writings of the Apostle John. We're now into the Revelation, and according to the angel, he was told to write things that will be, things that are coming up. So we still look to these events as future, and we're reading chapters 4 through the beginning of 8. Right now, this is what we call a scene from heaven. John either is transported to heaven or he's given a vision of heaven. Either way, it works out the same. He sees what's going on in heaven. And in chapter 4, it is a big worship service with uh, 24 elders. Now, these, these guys, when you receive the 24, that one's kind of an easy uh, number to figure out. That's 12 tribes of Israel and 12 uh, of the disciples, 12 of the apostles. So we see Old Testament and New Testament making a combined people of God, representatives of all the people of God. And then some of the other figures in the book are, are kind of interpreted that sort of a way. Like we see the beasts and the, the, the beasts are reminiscent of Ezekiel and we see what they're, what they're saying in the worship service, holy, holy, holy. And that reminds us of, of Isaiah 6. So these are these are common things that images and and perceptions that the reader of the of the Old Testament would be able to put together. Well, in chapter 4, there's a worship service for God, God the Father. He is worthy, and that's a beautiful song that they're singing. And in chapter 5, he's got a scroll in his right hand. That's the authority hand. That's uh, that's something no, no one else can hold is God's authority. However, the lamb comes along and that's an, again another Old Testament image and he is able to take that scroll. And so he takes it out of the right hand of the, of the father. So now a new song happens and it is worship of the son. Chapter five is worship of the son. It's a, sim it's a similar uh, similar sort of song, worthy is the lamb. Now, so now we're singing to Jesus. And there are on this scroll seven seals. And chapter six and seven, they're opening the seven seals. I don't believe that those seals relate to the great tribulation because the, uh, the scroll wouldn't be able to re be read until all of them are unsealed. You'd have to break every seal to be able to uncover the scroll. And so these are things that prelude, a prelude to what was in the scroll. And all this devastation that's coming along is happening you know, before we get to see <clears throat> what is in the what is in the scroll. Now, notice that that uh, chapter 7 starts with a period of silence and when the when the seventh uh, the sixth seal is broken that's hard to say when you break seal number 6 there's a there's a bit of a silence the wind stops and we see the 144,000 representing uh, representing the the old testament community and we see the great vast throng from all peoples of all tribes representing the church throughout the ages and those two kind of interludes happen between the wind stopping and in chapter 8 uh, as soon as the seventh seal is is broken there is silence for half an hour so there's kind of a little pause in the action there as we consider these things. So read through the book of Revelation, keeping in mind Old Testament images popping up everywhere and keeping in mind the big picture, God comes out on top. Be blessed.